Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to make a steering wheel or a steering column for Quadra VTEC using aluminum with plastic inserts. Basically this will be some kind of challenge for me, since I've never welded such complex aluminum constructure, as well as I've rarely dealt with aluminum in my life. All the dimensions will be taken from the previously printed 3D model. As you can see there are a lot of buttons on the steering wheel, most of which I'd like to make functional. Of course it's not apparent if it'll be possible to assign a certain action on each of them, but it's better to let them be operating rather than just a dummy. Aircraft grade aluminum will be used for the wheel's base. I'll cut the rectangular blanks from it. Before welding them together I measured the angles on the mock-up. The difficulty appeared during the angles setting as aluminum becomes deformed much more than steel while the welding process and the angles constantly become affected. The rest of the aluminum details will be made with the help of paper templates. Next comes the aluminum part of the handles which I want to make hollow to accommodate with some electronics and buttons. Further I began to give them volume forming those cavities. For a further work I'll need a part of the mock-up, namely the lower tube or a crossbar. I don't know exactly what it is called. It'll be attached to such kind of aluminum platforms. After them I welded the back part of the handles and smoothed out all the seams. Till now everything goes along exactly according to the mock-up dimensions. I also continued to make paper templates and saw out the future edges of the handles. After I welded everything on tacks, I realized that I wouldn't be able to repeat the original handle texture on aluminum. And most importantly, the access to the cavity will be limited. We need to make completely removable parts. For this purpose I put a handle modified for my needs on print. It'll be needed only for the fitting. While it'll be printed I'll prepare the upper part of the handles from aluminum. Before trying on the plastic handles, the previously welded constructure must be removed. Thereby will free the access to the cavity inside the steering wheel. There will be needed an exact adaptation but only after reinforcement of the plastic handle. Still this is a steering wheel and it must be firm. For this purpose I finalize 3D model of the handle again and printed out a cover to pour the resin into it with a reinforcement in a form of a stud bolt. 
I took the stud bolt as the handle will be screwed to the basis with it. A stud will stick out of the handle from above and I'll insert a nut into the handle from below so it can be bolted. I was thinking along the way how it would be holding on, but all the fears were cleared up. 12mm long stud securely holds the handles in their place. Now we can see exactly how much aluminum we need to add from the each side. Now we can pour the resin into the cavity between the plastic and the stud bolt. The handles turned out to be quite weighty. After the filling I screwed them to the basis again to make sure that nothing has shifted and the handles were fixed in their place. I'll remove the slots between the details in this way. I welded a slab to aluminum and cut a new groove for the handle. The snug fit will be made by heating plastic with a burner and pressing it against the basis. Everything perfectly fitted. I did the same thing from the opposite side but did it much longer as there were different verges. But in general everything turned out well. Next goes the bottom of the steering wheel. Since my 3D printer doesn't allow me to make such long details, I printed a two-part bar with a reserve for fitting. I also removed the ends from the details and glued them together. This detail will also be filled with resin and reinforced with aluminum strip. In order the strip look like reinforcement I made some notches on it. I overdid it with resin and forgot about the caps of the fastening bolts. Removed the excess with a milling cutter. This detail will be attached to the basis with two screws. For this purpose I drilled a hole so that it can pass through the aluminum strip. As the location of the lower detail of the steering wheel is known I'll adjust the aluminum base to it.
It's safe to say the steering wheel is ready so we can put it and move into another workshop that will happen appositely pretty soon. Most likely there'll be a first field trip. But we shouldn't forget about the buttons. Thus I'll start with the left block of buttons. I cut the frame for the buttons on the CNC machine. The buttons themselves were printed out of plastic. I've done it rudely so far as I'll possibly change their shape a bit in the future. The button has a wide bottom which prevents it from falling out of frame. Then I cut a place in the steering wheel for the frame. I incurved the frame according to the shape of the steering wheel and tried it on in its place. It'll be located on the inside of case. After the frame was bent in shape of the steering wheel the buttons began to jam a little. I fixed it with rat file. The button block will be fixed with two screws. Now we need to make a button mechanism. They all will stay on the same axis. I took a bicycle spoke for this. I glued some small cubes to the buttons and drilled a hole in them. There will be the tacked switches under them. Their force is quite enough to return the button to its original position after pressing. On the right there'll be a variable resistor with a handle or so-called wafer type switch. Still I haven't decided what function it would perform. Most likely the menu selection or volume or maybe a corrector of something. Its case also will be made according to the printed 3D model. I welded a slab for the resistor and drilled a hole in it. I fitted the resistor body to the handle and welded to it. It remains only to grind away the seams. The handle nuts were closed with plastic inserts. Probably they should spin too, but I can't even imagine why there are so many knobs on the steering wheel. The steering wheel is almost ready. To try it on in Quadra's cabin we just need to screw the fastening from the old steering wheel to it. It's good that the lower part of the wheel is straight, this makes it easier to get into the car. It turned out to be fairly strong steering wheel, I think driving with it won't be so difficult. 
Next we need to paint the steering wheel, but before it let's add some texture to the handles. For this purpose I made the recesses over the entire surface of the handle with a heated end of the drill. I reprinted the plastic insert with a 4mm wall. If it won't be possible to connect the original contact block to the steering wheel, I'll place a radio transmitter in it and the buttons will be connected via Bluetooth to the relay unit, so it'll be possible to connect any load to it. Plastic details were puttied and primed. The aluminum basis of the steering wheel will be primed with an acid composition which will have a chemical reaction with the metal. This thing is toxic and it's better to use it with an outrod in the room. This is not an independent coating and it's better to cover it with the acrylic primer. Then the primer was treated with the sandpaper and painted with black glossy ink. Alternatively you can cover the detail with the Raptor coating. I think this texture will also look very cool. While the steering wheel is drying I'm going to deal with the handles. We need to make a sheath for them. I decided to refuse that standard eco leather sheath since the original handles have certain texture on them. I took such synthetic fabric with this pattern for sheathing. In the future I want to try eco leather imitating the carbon. This texture will also be appropriate. I made a slot on the back of the handle. The edges of the sheath will be tucked in there. I managed to wrap the first handle on the sixth attempt, the second one on the second due to experience. When all the details are ready and painted, we can assemble the steering wheel. During the assembly, I also glued the button dummies but I also forestalled scenario to make the normal ones if required. Now I want to try it on in its place, but before it we need to unlock the steering column. I drilled the holes in the panel for the ignition key. Basically Tesla has the same steering wheel which means that there'll be no problem with control. I think that challenge is completed. It took a lot of time, but I succeeded. In the next video, I want to make first right and Quadra will move to the new workshop where it'll stay most likely until the full finale. I ask you to support this video with likes, reposts, and comments, cause now it's more important than ever. Thanks everyone and see you in the new video.